G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're back on Space Engineers and what I want to show you today is how to do a small ship printer. So what I'm going to be showing you is how to print uh, small grid ships, very similar to the one that are behind me at the moment. That one there, that one there. So let's go ahead and get started. So first off what we're going to need is we're going to need um, two conveyors, a piston, uh, three welders and a rotor with a small rotor head. <coughs> so let's get started. Let's start with drawing some components. In fact I will let's withdraw components for a piston. <coughs> let's get ourselves a welder. Uh, we'll get two and we'll grab ourselves a rotor. And then what I'm also going to do is grab a couple of steel plates because... Okay, let's start building. Alright, so we're going to put two conveyors down here. We're going to grab our piston and I'll place it in front like this. And we're going to grab our drill. Sorry, welder. <coughs> Place the welder there. Another one. Another one. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to weld everything up except for the top piston part because for some reason um, the build planner can never withdraw the components for the piston part. So, if we weld that up, we won't be able to weld up anything else. Oh, goodness me. See what I mean? Alright, <coughs> so now we have our basic printer. So what we're going to do is we're going to extend this piston fully forward. So we'll just go into the piston and we'll hit reverse. And while we're in here, what we're also going to do is we're going to change the minimum distance all the way up to 10 meters and then what we're also going to do is give it a name so we'll call this the printer piston and then what we're going to do is we're actually going to do the same with the welders as well so we will call this printer welder one and you can see these three welders here are the welders that we want to rename because they're all in white so that means that they are on the subgrid that we're interacting with now. So what we want to do is just copy that, paste it there, paste it there again. Now select all three of these welders and give them a group. So we'll call them printer welders. Okay, cool. So now what we're going to do is we are going to grab our rotor going to place it in the middle here. We're going to weld this up. Maybe we won't. Let's withdraw some components for that. Right, <clears throat> then what we want to do is go into the menu. We want to find our rotor and we want to add a small head. You can see it just popped into frame there. Cool. Now what we want to do is just add a little block to it. And then from here, go into our G menu. Search for a projector. If you spell it correctly. Now, to change this from large grid to small grid, all we want to do is just select on the top right here, the small grid version. Middle mouse button click to put it into our build, build planner middle mouse button and click again to withdraw the components and then we just place the projector. Now the correct orientation for these projectors what we're looking at in front of the screen right now is the front and that there with the X is the top. 
So I want the front facing, facing towards the welders, so I'm just going to place it there. Right, now what we're going to do is we're also going to build a control seat. Uh, this part isn't necessary, but it will make it a lot easier for us to do what we want to do. There with the drills the components. We can get a nice view of our ship printing. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to select our welders. Toggle block on and off. We want to go to our projector. Now this projector is our printer projector. The reason I know that this is our printer projector is you can see that it's colored purple, which means that it's on a subgrid. And the reason it's on a subgrid is because the projector that we just welded is sitting on top of that small rotor, a uh, small rotor part that we just, just did. So <clears throat> what we want to do is we want to load a blueprint into this. So I'm just going to choose this first one here. Um, and then from there we go back to the projector because it throws us out for some reason. Let's change color. Now we want to set the values of this. Um, I've already gone ahead and done that previously so I'm just going to set them here so we don't waste any time. So you can see here that we've projected the um, <coughs> blueprint, blueprint through these welders and these welders um, have quite a decent range on them so they'll be able to reach all the way to the end of this connector and um, we should, yeah, we'll have enough room to basically for the printer heads to fit there. So anyway, let's, um, so what we're going to do as well is we'll jump back into the control seat and we'll find our piston. So we'll go to the G menu, we'll find our piston, uh, and you can see there that's our printed piston. So what we want to do is we want to right click on this and set it to decrease minimum distance. And then once we've done that, go back into the K menu. <coughs> now remember we reversed the direction of the printer before. So uh, no, sorry, we reversed the direction of the piston before. So it is now going that way. <clears throat> what we want to do is we want to reverse the direction so it goes that way. So we'll go into the K menu, go into the piston. We will select reverse. And you can see it's not moved because we've set the minimum distance to 10 meters. So now what we're going to do is we're going to turn the welders on. Uh, actually, no, I won't do that yet. I'll turn them back off so we don't hurt ourselves. So now what we need to do is we need to connect this projection to this little rotor head. So we can do that just by placing a block here and then placing another block here. And you can see how the connectors change color. That means that we can now weld that part up. So yeah, we can just do that. So now we're ready to start printing the ship. So what we will do is we'll go into here and we'll turn our welders on. And now we can see the ship start welding up. And you can hear that there's a bit of clang going on there. Um, the reason for that is that these thrusters have, um, uh, what's it called, inertial, inertial dampeners turned on. So what we need to do is we actually need to go into the cockpit and turn that off. So my advice when you're trying to print a small grid ship is um, just try to 
turn the inertial dampeners off when you create the blueprint and um, I think it should be a lot better after you do that. So I think we are actually missing some construction components. I just have a feeling that we are. Yes, we are. So it's also important to remember to have a lot of components ready to go when you're going to print a ship. Um, so yeah, as you can see, it's continuing to start welding. So <clears throat> once it's finished welding up as much as it does here, we're then going to jump back into the control seat and move the printer back. So then we simply press number two, the printer back moves back 0.5 of a meter and prints the next layer. And then we just continue that on. so good. Now it's important that you don't get close to the uh, welder heads. You can see it right there. If you get too close to that it'll electrocute you and you will die. As you can see, this thoroughly beats sitting here and welding each block, you know, one by one by one. Uh, this means you can just create a blueprint in creative mode, transport it into your weld, and just print it out. And I mean, this takes maybe 10 minutes, whereas welding it by hand, you know, it, it could take you, you know, half an hour, an hour maybe. I'm not sure. But a lot longer than this method does for sure. Probably a bit early on that one. I think maybe we don't have any battery components. cells. You can see there, yeah. So that's one thing you want to do, you want to just constantly keep an eye and make sure that the printer is actually welding stuff, because sometimes you might get halfway through your projection and you're not actually welding anything. And uh, Clang is not really happy with us at the moment. But Clang can get stuff. This last part is just the drill heads, so we're going to have to move the printer way back to be able to weld them up. Cool. Now we want to just turn the welders off, jump into the ship. Uh, we will leave inertial dampeners on for the time being. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to grind away these welders and we'll release the ship from its prison. 
So we'll just cut this block here. And there we go. She's free. And it's done. And there we have it. A very quick, simple, small, small grid ship printer. Uh, it's very quick to set up. Um, and obviously you can scale it up so you, you can increase uh, the amount of pistons that are in in there you can increase the amount of welders that are in there um, to weld up bigger and bigger and bigger ships um, but this is, just gives you a general idea of how to set it up and obviously with this setup here I've got this all set up manually um, but you can also use timer blocks to do this but I think for a ship this size and if you're only printing one or two it's not really worth the effort of um, sitting there trying to figure out how to get the timer blocks actually working because I'm not very good at that myself but yeah anyway I hope that was helpful for you guys um, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel for more content and I hope to see you guys in the next video thanks bye